Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm making probably the most requested video that I have probably ever had in my history of making videos on YouTube. So here is why I chose Hanvey over Wagon Tail. I swear that I thought I made a video like this a long time ago, but I went back because I've had like several people be like, why did you choose Hanvey? And I like went back to like find the video where I explained it. I can't find a video that would fall under that category. So I don't know if I never made it, if I, that was a fever dream. I have no idea, but, um, let's, let's talk about the nitty gritty. This is going to be super opinionated because obviously it was a choice that I made to get the man in the first place. Um, so this is my biased opinion on why I wanted to go with Hamby. Uh, so the first thing, like, first of all, I only knew about Wagon Tails. Whenever I first was like, you know what, I think I want to go mobile. The only company I knew about was Wagon Tails. I didn't even know Hanvey existed. Uh, so I was actually, whenever I was like writing my business plan and stuff, I was going off of Wagon Tails numbers because they had like a cost calculator on their website. So I was just like, I like mapped out my van and um, put those numbers in or whatever, right? And actually, one of my friends, Mel, told me about Hanvey while I was like kind of in the process of doing all that. She was like, you should just check out, like there is another mobile grooming company or the company that makes vans. Um, so you should just check out Hanvey. So I pulled them up and I looked at the location and I was like, is this right? Because if this is their location, they are like 20 to 30 minutes from my house. And she's like, um, she's like, yeah, I think so. And I looked into it and literally 20, 30 minutes from my house. And I was like, oh my God. So like when you go to the trade shows and stuff, the wagon tails vans really stand out because on the inside, they're all colorful and bright and like kind of fun to look at. But one thing I have really learned in life in general, but especially in the grooming industry, colorful is not always better. Colorful is not always better, okay? And I'm not just talking about the vans. There's a few other things that I've noticed. Like, they make it really fun to look at, but it's actually, like, not that great of a product. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, and I'm not saying that for wagon tails, but I did notice theirs was, like, overly spruced up. And then when you see Hanby's version next to it, you're like, oh, like, this is the plain version, huh? And that, that was my impression, like full on. I was like, even when I looked at it and like, even when I've talked to other people that chose wagon tails over Hanvey, that's, it always boils down to the look of the inside. Um, and it's, it's really not even like how inside is organized. Some people do like the extra cabinet space in the wagon tails vans because they have cabinets everywhere. Uh, but a lot of it is like the bright colors. It's just got a cuter background, which does matter whenever you're taking pictures and stuff. Like you want your, that's like your portfolio. So you want your background to look good. So, you know, that is, uh, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but at the same time, like I said, wagon tails, I think that's what draws everybody in off the bat is that they are definitely more fun to look at. Handy's design, no offense, looks very much like it was made by a man <laughs> it's like men I bet love that design but like it's just not very like girly it could use a little bit of a girly touch but the way that I look at it personally is that it was like a completely blank canvas like at first I was really worried about it and I was worried about the storage and all that but uh there's several Hanvey related groups on Facebook that you can go in and people have posted like different organizational you know, tricks and tips that they've learned along the way. Uh, so once I saw more people and like how they designed their van, I was like, okay, wait, like we can actually make this pretty cute. So like I said, I had actually called and talked to Wagon Tails too, but I was just getting numbers whenever I called and I felt like the guy I talked to, I think I know his name, but I don't want to call him out. <laughs> but um, the guy I talked to was very car salesman -y. And when he realized like I was not ready to buy, like even in the next month, he just kind of like, I felt kind of blown off. Like he was like, and like the one thing, and I know I've said this before, is like everything I said, I was like, oh, like, you know, so 
what about this aspect of your vans? And he'd be like, great question, Janine. Um, so the answer is blah, 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 blah. Like, and literally I'd be like, okay, great. And so what about this? And he'd be like, oh, great question, Janine. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like, I was like, are you like, I, it was like, I felt like a little kid, like, oh, great one. Great question, sweetie. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It just, I didn't like that aspect of him. Like, so that kind of turned me off. But at the time I thought he was the only van salesman. So I was just kind of like, well, whatever. He's trying to sell me a product, whatever. He did seem to know his stuff about the van. I just didn't really like, first of all, that, that whole like fakety fake customer service. I was not a fan of. Um, and then, like I said, I felt very much like he was trying to get this phone call over as quickly as possible because he's like, oh, this girl's not going to be able to drive in or buy this van anytime soon. Right. So that was kind of my experience with wagon tails. And I had gone down to Georgia to go see Joe's wagon tails van. That's one of my biggest videos on YouTube is like the tour of the wagon tails van and showing the super sudser and all that. And my impression of Joe's van was that there was a lot of switches and they had to be turned on and off in a certain order and way. And like, like certain ones can be on when you're driving. And like, it, it was, I just remember thinking like, this is a lot to remember. Um, and I was really intimidated by it and it was like kind of scary, but like I said, at this point I did know about Hanvey. So I, I went and saw Joe's van. I looked into like the pre-made vans, um, which just wasn't an option really for me. Uh, and then I was like, okay, well let's go check out Hanvey. So when I walked into the Hanvey facility, it was very like clean. It very much gave me Apple store vibes. Like it was very like clean cut, simple design, like very much like their vans. It's a very simple design, like to their building and all that. And you go in and there's like a nice little mini fridge that's like packed with like all kinds of sodas and teas and like all kinds of stuff. I was like, oh, what this fancy fancy, huh? So, um, I, you know, we hung out, we went back right into the factory, like no questions asked. Curtis came out and from what I understand Curtis doesn't really give the tours anymore I think it's mainly James now but at the time Curtis who is the engineer that designed these vans uh he gave me like a full tour walked me right into somebody's van was like you know this is like what they have and he like said like you know this is something they paid extra for like this is standard like showed me like all the buttons were super 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 simple like I said I've got like four buttons like that are those big black buttons that are in control of my tub, like the drain, the bathing beauty, and both of my dryers. And then I have a vacuum switch and then just like literally like basically an on off switch for the van. Um, no propane, no antifreeze, no generator, which we'll get to in a minute. But um, cause I like, I have a list here, but I'm kind of just like, bringing you to where I was before I made my decision, like kind of what all I was observing. So like I said, brings me straight back. He was, Curtis is like one of those people that he's so fucking smart. And like, you can tell he's like trying to dumb himself down a little bit to like be more on everybody else's level, but he's just so smart. And he just really knew his stuff with the vans. Like I didn't have to ask him to show me anything. Like he literally was so thorough, went through everything. He was very open with his design like I remember him saying to me like even if you can't get approved for like one of our vans and get one of our vans like I think he said that there was like a model of like his design online maybe on his website or something like he was like just you know mobile is like the way that things are going like highly recommend mobile and I just really liked that I didn't feel like he was trying to force me into buying his van he was just like this is my van like basically this is like my creation uh, this is how it works. I think it's awesome. Um, and then he's like just constantly like, you know, we improve here, we improve there. They're just, it's crazy how efficient they are. And like, I'm just so like intrigued to even see like five years from now where, where the vans are at. I bet it'll be so different than where they're at now. And I love that. Like the just constantly like staying on top of things. And like Curtis was actually the one that pointed out, he said that the Hanvey is more like an iPhone, right? And then the Wagon Tails is more like Android. Sorry, I hear my dog outside. 
Um, she's probably just barking at my assistant. She's fine. I'm <laughs> she's fine. Um, but I, I put my dogs out so that they wouldn't be like running around and being crazy in my video. Um, but it's beautiful outside. So it's quite the day for them to hang outside. Um, <clears throat> okay. So like I said, those were kind of like my experiences dealing with both companies, but what led me to actually making the decision are my notes here. So the first thing I kind of already mentioned was the less buttons. That was like kind of a big thing for me because when Joe was showing me all the buttons and she was like, like this one can't be left on and this one can't be here and this one can't be there. And they had a propane tank underneath the van. And a, like, I didn't see this, but my ex went with me whenever I went to see her van. And he said there was like warning labels in there. Like if you smell propane, get the fuck out of here. Basically like your shit's gonna bro blow up on you. So get out. Um, but I didn't see that. That's what he said that he saw. And I was concerned. I was like, man, the propane tank being underneath the van. Like, what if you hit a speed bump or some people have weird driveways? Like, it seemed a little dangerous to me personally. Um, and also, her van was more expensive than mine. Like, she got the Dodge Ram Wagon Tails. I don't remember exactly what version is hers is. But I think hers was seriously ten dollars to $20,000 more than my Mercedes Handy. Like... And I, I do think I know the reason why, because at first I was like, how? But I think the reason is Hanvey makes their own dryers and vacuums in house. And also the generator, they have to like cut holes in your van and stuff to put the generator in. Otherwise you'd like die in there. <laughs> like, so they've got to like have it like, so it filters out. So it's not, you're not getting those fumes or whatever. And the Hanvey, since you don't have that, you don't have to drill extra holes and all that. I'm not 100% sure why it's such a major price difference. Those are just like what I noticed. Um, so anyway, like I said, less buttons, they have to be turned on and off at the, uh, certain times. And what I was saying earlier about like the more simple design, there's no antifreeze needed, no propane, no generator. Um, and the generators are more expensive to maintain. I think you have to put gas in them and you have to do like oil changes on them and you really have to keep up with their maintenance because if you don't, that's when you'll have issues with your generator and having issues with your generator puts you out of work. So you really don't want that. Um, so yeah, and then they, the generators just seem to break often. I don't know why or whatever that, that, that happens, but I see it all the time. Just pretty much anybody I know with, with generators seem to have issues. And if you don't, that's great for you, sweetie. But I'm just saying uh, it's a, like a really big problem that I see a lot of groomers having. And I'm assuming most of the audience of this video are people that are weighing their options, deciding on which van they want. So I just wanna be upfront and honest that if you get a generator, you're gonna to have to do a lot more maintenance than what I have to do on my battery. Um, and it can and probably will break. And I see a lot of people that when it gets really hot outside, it'll break too. So things to think about. Um, okay, so, and then the Hanvey has the power inverter system, inverter system now I'm like completely like I'm a dog groomer okay I don't know I really don't understand a ton about my van and how everything works I just know it does work uh so basically I, I'm from my understanding the power inverter in the back the ba battery bank in the back runs off of the alternator that's what charges the, the battery in the back but you can work with the van off and then you just have like the power in the back on it's like two separate things um but yeah, so it just runs off of these, like there's like, I think four big batteries back there, like those big red batteries. Uh, and that's what it actually runs off of. Um, but it's still super powerful. Cause I, I think some people think that the Hanvey is like not as powerful. Like I can run my air conditioning, both in my dryers and well, that's, that's really kind of a lot. Like, I mean, you don't really need to like, you know, all my stuff's like plugged in and then, but having your force dryer and your fluff dryer and like your AC and everything, I, I can do all of that at once and I've never had it like flip the breaker or anything on me. Like it just works. It seems very powerful to me. Okay. I'm just saying, I think it works great. Okay. So, um, 
like I said, it's very quick and easy for winter. Now, I do not have an ever warm system in my van because I am in South Carolina. It really um, doesn't get that cold here. It maybe gets into the 20s most of the time and occasionally like one or two days each year we may get into the teens, but it's not extreme. So all I have to do is like during the winter, I just plug my van in at night. You fill your water up and then you just plug the van in and then there's a water heater in there that just heats your water to like a constant temperature every night. So that way you don't have to worry about any thing busting or anything like that. Um, another thing that James said I could do, but it's not like mandatory is that you can get like a little space heater to put, um, by your, um, water pump in the back. So that way it doesn't like ice over. Cause if it gets icy, I did have this happen to me last year. If it gets icy, it won't want to work. Um, but all I did when that happened to me was I turned the van on. Um, the heater is actually like below the tub right by that um, water pump thing or the drain pump. Sorry, not water pump, the drain pump, the, the thing that drains your water out of your tub. So that thing iced over, right? I tried to press it. It wasn't even turning on. I was like, oh no, I broke my thing. And then um, turn the heater on. I let it heat up for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes or whatever. And then once all the ice in the tub dethawed, I press the drain thing again and it was working just fine. So um, anyway, to avoid it freezing up, you can put like a little space heater in there. And there's a certain one, but if you reach out in either the Hamby groups or you reach out to James directly, he can tell you which space heater it is. I've got it somewhere, but I don't remember offhand. But um, anyway, so yeah, you just fill up your water, plug your van in and you're done. And I, again, I don't know how the Everwarm system works, but everything else with Hamby is so simple. I can't imagine that it's hard. Okay. So <clears throat> moving on. Okay. Yes. I, I actually <laughs> touched on all my notes. I like just, I write down just like little keywords. Just, just, just keep me on track. You know what I'm saying? So I, I covered all those bases. Uh, so, oh, um, I put that iPhone versus Android thing. So I think that's such a good point that Curtis made. Cause that's, that's really what it does remind me of the difference. Like the iPhone's just like very simple and straightforward and anybody pretty much can pick it up and use it. But, um, Android, you might want a little bit of extra and that's not for everybody. Some people don't have experience of Android. It's just anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but the more simple design, by the way, is also a lot easier to clean. I don't know a single wagon tails person that doesn't complain about how much work it is to clean their van. Like, I remember when I first started, somebody was like, oh my God, it's going to be such a bitch, like cleaning that van all the time. And I never understood it because I was like used to working in a shop. And I'm like, well, in a shop, you have like all this area to clean if it gets dirty but in the van I'm just like in this tiny self-contained area you know I, was, I thought it was a little bizarre um but now that I've really seen the difference it's just so much easier to clean like actually my assistant is outside cleaning it right now and it takes her like an hour to two hours to do like a full deep clean I mean I'm talking she pulls everything out and gets every little corner or crevice you know and she does that every week just like gets behind and everything just to keep everything clean and smelling good and all that um and I mean, to me, two hours a week is really not that bad. And then like day to day, I'd say like my end of the day cleaning normally takes me like 15 minutes, if that. So it's, to me, the simpler design just means less to clean. Like with all those cabinets and crevices and the wagon tails, like hair gets caught in all that. I mean, as we know, hair sticks to everything. So the more shit you have in your van, the more you have to, for the hair to stick to. Does that make sense? Anyway. Um, and then as I already mentioned, the blank, uh, blank canvas of the van does make it a little bit easier to kind of customize to your liking. You can put up like wall hangs or like I put up a little window cling on my like door that separates the cab from the back of the van. Um, you can get little palm mats, you know, you, I mean, you can really be creative in there. And that's like, I've always viewed it as a blank canvas. And then I was talking to James at Hanvey and he was like, that's kind of like what they tell people to, to like, just view it as a blank canvas instead of looking at it like, oh, like it's just so simple. Like it's boring to look at. Like, no, it's just a blank canvas, literally. Okay. Um, 
And I already mentioned, but the dryers and the vacuums and everything that's made in house, like if you look at it, it'll say like Hand V Hair Vac or Hand V, I don't know actually what the dryer is called, but they're, they're Hand V brand. They actually make them there. So I, I like that because then if something breaks, like if my vacuum breaks tomorrow, I can literally just drive up to Hand V and get a new one. You know, I don't have to order it from some random co company or whatever. And because Hand V does like, pretty much everything in the house from my understanding it makes um it so you don't have to go to those rv places from my understanding the wagon tails place like if you have issues with their conversion aspect of it then you have to take it to uh rv place and from my understanding the rv places sometimes are really slow to get your stuff back so that's another area that you could be um out of work longer than you may be in your Hamby. Hamby, like whenever I went up and did the tour with him, he said that he tried to basically design it so you can fix most of the stuff yourself. And that's the new like um, QR codes that they put everywhere that they all bring you to different videos to help you fix things yourself. And if you can't fix it with that little QR code, you can just call Hamby or email James or whoever and they will help you and get you back on the road. Like that's their thing is they want to give you the most time actually working. Um, which is what we want. We don't want our van to be in the shop because something's not working. You know what I'm saying? That's when we get stressed. Um, so all that to say, they have amazing customer service. They really make you feel like type part of the family. And to me, it's so telling, like they really seem to know each person that's buying a van from them. Like if I'm like, oh, like, you know, so-and-so reached out to me, like, and they were looking at vans or whatever. And they're like, oh my God, yeah. Like this is the van that they wanted. And this is the conversion they asked for. Like they know, like, especially James, like he just really like, it, it, you really do feel like part of the family. Like he really seems to like know all about the vans. Like he bonds with the customers. Like I said, if something goes wrong, they are so helpful. Like I have had no issues whatsoever. I'm so happy with my purchase. I would not, I, I don't foresee myself ever having a wagon tails. I think as long as I'm in mobile, I will have a handy van. I just can't imagine not having a handy, so. Anyway, I love my van. I hope that answers a lot of y'all's questions on like why I chose it. Like to me, it was just a clear winner. Like wagon tails couldn't hold a flame to Hamby's van to me. Um, it's more expensive to buy, more expensive to maintain, and has more things that could go wrong in it. And Hamby is just bomb. Like clear winner in my opinion. But anyway, I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys as always for watching. Sorry this video took so long. I could have sworn I'd already made it, but I guess I did not. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.